Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another Cricut project. So today we are making this mailbox. It is super cute. I've seen them all over the web from different stores. I really liked them, but let's be honest, red, green, and white is not going to work in my house. I'm doing a complete blush and seafoam and rose gold Christmas this year. So since that wasn't an option, I needed to make my own. And if I was going to make my own, I might as well make it epic. So I went ahead and I made the mailbox. I have the free Cricut cut files for this for you. I will leave that linked down below, but I also wanted to put some fun things in the top. So I actually have these little, um, you're on the nice list, love Santa cards that I made out of resin. I popped those in, but I mean, you can see they're quite small maybe two by three inches. So I needed some envelopes to really fill out that top, make it look stuffed, look stuffed, not stuffed, stuffed. <laughs> like all of these letters are going to Santa at the North Pole. So this was a bit of a, a longer project than I, than I anticipated. I thought it was gonna be just the cut files for the front and a few letters, but we ended up making the envelopes and the resin little nice list pieces. So I will leave the links for the resin nice list and for the Cricut envelopes down below if you need help making both of those. But today we are going to focus solely on the mailbox. I did spray paint this, it came white, and that was because literally all the pink ones that I could find were not going to arrive until like January 20th, which, how does that help me prepare for Christmas? And I ordered them way in advance, so it's fine, we just sprayed it and then we added all of our Cricut vinyl. So we're gonna go ahead and whip that up and then we'll be back.
All right, y'all. So we've got all of our pieces weeded. I've gone ahead and put this biggest one already on some transfer tape. I'm gonna take that off and our little deliver destination Santa's workshop. So this is our mailbox. I cut out a bunch of envelopes. I will link to that below. I did a quick little envelope tutorial for you. And we are going to glue these in so that they're at different heights and places. And I can put my little here on the nice list from Santa in them. So it's gonna look like these are all being mailed out to all the good little kids. But we're gonna start with these. So transfer tape, I just lay down across the front. Let's see if this will come off. No, we're gonna have to do a little bit of work with it. As always. So I got this little mailbox from uh, the hardware store and I wanted pink, but the only pink ones they had weren't deliverable until January, which that doesn't help me at all. So I spray painted this bad boy and the spray paint I bought, you can see it kind of exploded. So this is not the perfect finish that I was hoping for. It is pretty good. Okay, so this is glossy vinyl and apparently it is going to be fun to pick up with the transfer tape. So when this happens, all you can really do is go letter by letter and be very careful. All right, so this side's gonna work easier. You just make sure you've got each letter as you go once it's on here, it's usually fine, and it usually still transfers easy enough, but. Not nearly as easy as that black, the matte vinyl I was working with yesterday for the magic button sign. That stuff peeled up in one sheet, easy peasy. This glossy vinyl is like sticking for life. These little dots, I'm gonna get real close. Use my nail to make sure they're on the transfer tape. All right, so now we're going into the script part of the words. That means there's lots of little bits and pieces that need to, we need to make sure go. Otherwise we'll have half a tea left on here, it'll rip. So just carefully, carefully. Make sure everything's stuck down as we go. The parts that are connected usually go pretty easily. It's the parts that aren't connected that are a problem. As you can tell, my dog is very upset about this as well. also find another tip when you're working with things that are hard to transfer like this if oh crap just a second just a second abort abort I was trying to stick them down all right carefully go from the last point of contact here let's push everything back down into place. Everything's always fixable, but man, it's easier when it doesn't do this stuff. Okay, what I was saying before I literally put my finger in it is when you're having things that are having a hard time sticking to the transfer tape like this, I find it easiest if you literally lay the backing down as far over on itself as possible as you go. And then you hold the pieces down with either a weaning tool or I'll use this sometimes. Just 
just depends on how much you need to see. All right, we're at the end of Santa, which means there's an apostrophe. Space before workshop, but workshop will have a curly cue, so watch out for that tail end. There it is. This gives me more control, but with things like this W, the bigger one will let me hold down multiple points of contact, so it just depends on what's easiest. This is little enough that the weeding tool almost can hold down multiple points, so. Okay. Okay, getting there, we're getting there. Careful. letter and that is how you transfer a difficult word now let's line it up doesn't lay down just put it back down and really press it on I know you saw me get those little two dots, but I don't see them, so I'm not sure where they are. You know, my fingers? Sometimes that happens. Double check, but yeah, no dots there. Dots on my fingers? No? No dots here. Well, somewhere in between here and here, we lost our dots. Cut more, but who wants to cut two dots? Sure, you guys are probably like, they're right there, and I just don't see them. All right, well, we're gonna worry about that in a minute because I literally don't see them anywhere. Here they are. Here they are. They're on my thumb. They're on my thumb. Sure, 
really I'm not the only one that stuff like this happens to. as good as staying on the transfers tape so they'd be better lined up but is what it is all right so now we're going to go ahead and line this baby up I think and then we'll do this this is going to take me a while to probably get all these on here because I'm guessing it's going to be just as hard so yay this should go fairly easy, knock on wood. I was just going to place this on here and then transfer them together. But now seeing how hard that white was to do on the top part, I don't want to risk losing a bunch of these little letters. So I'm just gonna transfer this separately. better. Oh well. Maybe I'm just like having a problem with myself today. I've used this adhesive foil a million times. It usually comes pretty easy. Always smooth everything from the middle out. Smooth this all down with my fingers. Well, 
this has a lot of little tiny pieces, just like those dots. So just be careful. So I sliced through the front of the vinyl around all the words. So I sliced here and here for Santa. That way I could peel that vinyl up and then move on to the next part and not having to worry about that vinyl sticking down to itself. So you don't slice all the way through, but sometimes it goes a little bit. And that might help me here. Kind of do the same thing in reverse. You just want to make sure when you're cutting this part off, you don't actually slice through a letter. All right, we got two words here. Delivery, Santa, we've got to go all the way around and this middle ring. So I'm going to speed y'all up so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Last but not least, the lost L. This time I was not so lucky. I could not find it on my thumb or anywhere else. So went and recut one. But here we go. Da -la. I love it. I wasn't sure. There was a lot of stumbles along the way. Um, this was technically supposed to go on the lid. I don't know that I would have made it for this spot, but I like it okay. I love how this turned out. I love how all the letters turned out. I just need to decide how to kind of put them in here so that they stay where I want them and exactly where I want them. So. Like this one, I really want to be more like right here, like right behind it. So I have a bunch of this gluey foam and glue dots. And we are going to see if we can't make that work. So what I'm thinking Obviously, we don't want it to go all the way to the bottom. And push comes to shove, we could put some fabric in the bottom or some styrofoam or, you know, something to kind of prop everything up. But A, I don't want to do that because it'll make the whole piece heavier. And B, like I said, I need them to sit at specific angles. So, looks like I need this corner to touch a certain place. And this corner to touch a certain place. Now the problem with doing them individually is that the more of these I put in here, the less control I'm gonna have because I'm gonna have less space, so. Glue dots are very sticky. It's part of a foam square. We don't really need the whole thing for the top. So. Honestly, I don't even know if we need the top one. May just be an eyesore. Yeah, it's not really even touching there. Rubber 
whatever reason, this one piece of tape out of all my envelopes just not sticking. So let's repurpose that foam square here. that works it's definitely very um not nearly as stable as i would like but once i get all the other pieces in place it will probably be okay i'm going to put some foam pieces on the back of this These are those resin, you are on my nice list pieces. I want them to look like they're coming out of these envelopes. I'll put this one right here. And we'll see if this foam glue will stick to this glitter paper. All right, I think that's good. We're gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep layering these guys. This one needs a dot on this side. glue dot on this side. It doesn't need to be that far up. Okay, that's good like and that from the front. Now we've got two more. I kind of want, ooh, what if I put this one in the front? Actually, I think this one in the front. That'll be good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one at the front and I'm going to go ahead and put this on the back. I'm gonna stick this one to the front one, and if we can attach them a little bit this way as well, that will help. So get it in the right position first, because once we stick paper to paper, they are not coming apart. There we go. And then we are also going to stick a glue dot On my fingernail. It's very helpful, thank you. Right here. Let's see if we can't get it to stick to the mailbox and not my theme bob. There we go. One more, right. There we go. And that kind of holds this envelope open, which is nice. So then this one, I think I'm gonna put, well, I could put it right here like this think like this. This 
So for this one, I'm gonna put one on the front and one on the back and that'll stick these two together. Halfway down here. And then one on the back. Obviously, if you want these to be able to come in and out, you need a different solution. If you wanna be able to reuse them, you need a different solution. I made these for this, I'm not planning to take them out, so I'm good. Sticky, sticky. There we go. Yeah. Also gonna go ahead and just put one right here. This is supposed to be one piece. There we go. All right, so then I've got my last two nice list resin pieces. I've got this light pink one and this iridescent one. The iridescent one is the hardest to read. Let's see where we can put them. Here, but that, does that make any sense? I don't know. I'm doing it anyways. Oh, you know what? I still have to paint this one. See the difference in how well you can read this versus this? All right, well, I'm gonna take this glued out off and I'll go grab the paint. I was wondering, I'm like, I know it's iridescent, but man, that's hard to read. Okay, that's not coming off, so. Blue dots. And stick this one right here. Perfect. All right, let me grab the paint. I'll be right back. There we go. There, we, There's the finished product. I'm gonna go hang it on the wall so you can see it for real, but I kind of love it. I've got all our envelopes and our, our three nice list recipients. Does that mean that the other two are naughty lists? Is that what these closed ones are? Nice lists are open and closed lists are naughty. Let's see, I've got five and five pups, so which of my five pups are the naughty ones? I didn't make these for my pups, but that's just where my brain goes. <laughs> Let's go put it on the wall. <laughs> all right, y'all, that was pretty easy. Now, reading all these little letters, I swear some vinyls are just so much easier than others. This is a premium gloss vinyl that I use. It just happened to be the white that I had on hand. Um, I would probably use this adhesive foil. Always, always excellent. And matte vinyls tend to bleed better when they're these little tiny letters. Um, but as you can see, 100% possible. You just need to be a little patient and use that trick I showed you where I just kind of slice through each letters, each letter. I can't talk today each word individually so that you're not reading the entire project at once and just go slow. It's 100% possible. It just takes a little bit of patience. Another update, if you watch the whole video, three projects later. So I made this and then this and then what did I do? Oh, I made a vintage key hook holder sign for like a hotel for some really cute resin. Um, Shit's Creek things that I got, the little key rings. Anyway, so that's like three projects. Three projects later, as I was using my drill to drill for the key hooks, I found the out.
on my pinky. So if you saw that in this video and you're like screaming at the screen, the L is on your pinky. I never heard you, but I did eventually find it after I cut a new one and I put it in a place of honor on my desk. So I will forever remember the day I lost the L. So if you liked this project, like, comment, subscribe. I've got so many other projects coming up for you for Christmas. I did a full tour this year of Cricut and resin pieces and I mush them together like this one as much as possible so that they are both Cricut and resin because those are my two favorite things and I like to do them together as much as possible. So if you want to see all of those, stick around. If you want to see how I made the pretty envelopes with the liners, I will leave that link below. And if you want to see how I made the little resin nice list, I will leave that link below. But in the meantime, I'm going to go take a break. Bye y'all.